What is methane? I have no clue. No idea. Uh, what do you think about methane? What do I think about what? Methane? Well, I mean, most people think of it as cow farts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, I'm just going to be blunt, you know, it, it's, it's, um, it, it contributes to global warming. It, it's really not effective for, um, and we have so much of it going into the environment and it's really not, it's a big problem. Well, the city um, has a closed landfill. It's been closed since 1998. Um, uh, one of the concerns about a closed landfill is methane migration. The gas is generated as the waste decomposes. What it tends to do is collect in low spots. And so uh, there have been instances in some other places where um, there have been explosions. And so you don't want uh, methane to be in your basement or under your home or in the back of the garage or um, that sort of thing. And so um, we started our first series of wells, extraction wells that are drilled into the closed landfill and then you have uh, blowers that create a vacuum and pull all that methane to a central point. Now for 10 years or more we had a flare that the gas was just flared. I've always been concerned about the environment and it was it was upsetting to see this big candlestick flare burn all the methane without being able to use it. The city of Durham has found a way to convert garbage into electricity. How do you think they go about doing that? Really? I'm not real sure, but it sounds like a fantastic idea. Uh, garbage into electricity? Uh, I would assume that there's some kind of uh, combustion. You know, what's, what are they burning actually? How much, what, what are they actually burning? I mean, are they burning plastics and things like that? Because the off-gassing of that is gonna be a real problem in our environment and, and you know, the smoke. I, I don't know anything about this, so I can't really talk educated, um, educatedly about it. I wasn't even a word, but. Methane Power came to us and, and they had a, an offer that seemed to be um, something that would be good for the city and good for them. Methane gas is converted to electricity by burning it inside an engine, the same way a natural gas engine functions. We just burn the landfill gas and turn a generator. Going with a developer like us, we pay the city a certain amount for the gas that covers well field maintenance, etc. And it's a really good deal for the city in what they get out of it. Now they have something that they were paying for before to maintain, operate, to stay in compliance with the EPA. Now we come in, take the gas, pay for almost completely all the operations, and put money back in the city coffers. We're inside one of the Yennebacher containers. This is the Yennebacher engine. It's a V20, roughly three liters per cylinder, attached to a generator, much just like the alternator in your car, just a lot bigger. This is the gas line that brings all the methane gas into the module, comes up through the main pressure regulator, just like natural gas system, into all the regulation valves, and then over into the engine. This is an example of the spark plug and how large it is. Four electrodes. The electricity produced in this plant produces roughly three megawatts of electricity. That's enough to run 300 residential homes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When you compare the exhaust gas coming out of these engines to your local coal-fired power plant, these emissions are almost non-existent. You know, I mean, it sounds like maybe they're actually thinking it through and trying to utilize the stuff that we have and, you know, taking the trash and the waste that we've already created and doing something useful with it. And that sounds like it could be a, a, a positive program. Well, um, when you work for the city, um, saving money is one thing. Um, let's say that we are generating revenue now to offset our expenses. That's the way we describe it. <laughs> wow.